Well, it, it is going to be very, very hard, actually. So if whenever we're going to see a dive coming in from Lorien and with their Jealous Splendor combination from the Senyo, what VCF is planning to do is just negate it with Malok's ultimate, which is Shock. So that already says a lot on the counterplay of and the counter picks coming here from Valencia. Plus, there is going to be a lot of stuns from that Ignis from under his nose. Well, they are also going to be seeing the replay here on how they were able to take out XF. XF went in for that 2v1 and all of a sudden three members pile in. Here comes another fight on the bottom side. XF is going to be going down yet again. Something that we're actually seeing most of the game. Well, just see if esports is actually there oh. into the midst of XF. Conqueror gets a kill onto the Ignis. Pichu oh. gets a snipe in with the disengage, and he is going to be able to take out the actual expected on their lineup. Just because it is going to be easily dodged, and if you have the cleansing item, you are going to be able to actually just negate the effects of the Sorry Sky. The shock is going to be used, and that oh. is going to be secured on getting XF. There is going to be danger on Piper being taken out, but he's going to be able to disengage with his jungle strike. Even the counter clashes are not actually felt. Zen Shao is going to be in the midst of the members of Valencia CF Esports. He's going to be going in, trying to go for an escape there, but Piper is going to be using the Mark of the Hunter. Sky Sky is going to be used. He's not going to get a hit again. Pichu is getting a lot oh, of free no. on LCC2. He is going to be in danger. Shock is again going to be used while we're seeing Nornan in the midst of XF. He's still going to be taken out by Amo P, and it is going to be a disaster for Underwreck. With one more member going down, four of their members already down and out of the count. Last is the only one left to go for the defense, and the mid lane turret is also going to be taken. And Piper goes in with the mark of the hunter. This Lindis is actually going in for the chase, and that is going to be a secure care for Blood CF. He still has our form, and the shock is going to be used to disengage. Zen Shao is not going to get a target in. This Lindis is going to be dangerously low. It's in the midst of three of the members of Blood CF Esports. They're going in for the GG push, and this is Blood CF Esports taking game number one. They are going to be locking in the Ibnet for their last pick here on BCF. First appearance as well. We've seen a lot of firsts here uh, in this game number two. Timmy, Zephis, Ibnet. We haven't seen these being picked up just yet. And with this being the first, Vittorio, let's go for that bold prediction based on the composition. Who has the better edge here coming into game number two? Does Underrank stand a chance with their very, uh, very interesting composition? This is something that we don't usually see nowadays. Violet is actually the hero to beat in that kind of scenario. Since Lindis has already started the blue buff, he's going in for the damage. Mornon is actually there, Let's and the shirk is coming in for Pichu is going to be there. Since Lindis is actually taking that blue buff under the noses of Underrank, he's dangerously low, and that's a first flood for Zata. And getting the gold for themselves, but Isolindo's possibly contesting here. 3v1. He's gonna be dashing away, so he's gonna be pretty much fine in this case. But 4v3 right now. Bracers of submission by Almond B just deletes LCC2 from the map. Now they're using the lasso for that double. Sure that his teammates are safe. And right after that, they transition to the Slayer and will secure that. Yes, and that's how you force a clash. If you're gonna go for a clash, you need to have some kind of objective in mind. And XF is going to be slowed down by his Lindis. Oh. He's not gonna be able to block his light passive. And that's a kill for Valencia CF Esports with Pichu getting the advantage the there. He's gonna be there. LCC2 goes for this and gets one hero there, but he's gonna be traded out by Norman. I don't know if that's gonna be an even trade, so, so to speak. Play, getting that double by Almond B. Another fight is gonna be breaking out here. Bracer submission being committed onto Botak and the rest of Underag. So is gonna be coming up, up in that ultimate as well. And here comes the Moonfall to finish off the team. -y. No ultimate in sight. XF trying to push in the members into their own tower. Norton may suffer from that, but will survive along with Pichu. And get the information that Thornton was actually in the Riverbrush. Then Shao and Last going in 
and tries to get more of the tickets there. That's gonna be the ultimate for the end. And a double start oh, no, from the double knockups there. Disrupt is gonna be used to get that turret to fire two more shots into the hands of Wonder Woman, Hayate, and Quixie. Definitely it is gonna be a very, very scary prospect. Piper again gets uh -oh. a shot from Piper. And XF is gonna fall down with the Death's Embrace and a secure from Norman. And we're gonna see Last again being pulled into the grasp of Piper as well. Yeah, the, the Zephyrus right now is doing little to nothing at the moment. There's nothing that he's actually doing to help out his team. Looks like LCC2 is gonna be caught out. Who's gonna be caught out by the Omen? And they're going in for some push delaying there. The nature's problem is going to be used here by Islindis with the Moonfall. Botak is dangerously low. The Resurrection is going to be popping out for Botak. Still going to be able to live. But without that kind of uh, safeguard, you're oh going to be... Oh my god, the outplay! Pushing in to the Quixie with the Arctic Orb. He's still going to be taken out as well. And that Superman has been dying a lot. 5 VCF already going for the jugular pushing here in the mid lane. They're going for the GG push right now. What can Underrank do to stop the onslaught? That is VCF. They pop the Ascend, but it's not enough to survive. Being a bro is going to be committed, but they're still going to go down. And with just two members, make that one. XF fall alone. He's going to be going for the trifecta. That is going to be game 0-6 Superman, 0-4 Underrack in this series, and we've got Valencia CF Esports just dominating this best of two.